are looking pretty gloomy. Well, it's 4 a.m. here in Utah yesterday. Um, Tanner shared with me the most exciting news and it was just like, oh, we were over the moon. So excited. Um, we told parents, which was fun to see their reaction, but I think it just kind of hit Tanner especially more, but me in the middle of the night that there's a lot to do. So once I woke up, then I was gonna go back to sleep and now I'm like thinking about if we need to purchase a car and upgrade before we go. Um, since we don't have an extra car to use here that will fit Willa um, and that would be like an extra $1,100 to rent a car and then we'll have to get winter tires on the car that we have now that we were planning on shipping over. I don't know, there's just like these added costs. There's just like all these things I'm thinking about. I'm so excited, but obviously I can't sleep. Six weeks, oh my gosh. <laughs> what you got? We got our check. Let's go get a car. Let's go get it. Oh, it's been where crazy. Do we, where do we even start? <laughs> I don't even know. Monday, Marissa jokingly was like, you're gonna get your offer tomorrow. And I was like, ah, oh, that's baloney. We're not gonna ever get it like that soon. And sure enough, the official order didn't come through, but the final offer did. And so really surprising to us, the report date was March 14th. So here we are, January 21st, and we're thinking, oh, that's like six solid weeks that we only have until we have to go. And so really fast. But so yesterday I wake up, Marissa is not in bed. I'm thinking, what in the world? I have like a dozen text messages from her and she says, yes, yeah, so I've been thinking and maybe we should get a different vehicle. This wasn't like out of the blue. We had thought about this before. We had almost bought another vehicle a couple weeks ago, but we decided against it just because of the timing, just because of funding. And we want money to go towards travel. We want to be able to go travel as much as we can. And so it was really hard to say like, let's just throw several thousand dollars at um, a vehicle. Um, Anyway, hence. <laughs> hence, here we are, two days later. Yesterday, Marissa's up at 2.30. She's like, let's buy a vehicle. So yesterday, we go down and we go and test drive a Subaru Forester. We thought that was the one we wanted. We were sold on it. And then um, we test drive it. Unfortunately, the guy wasn't going to let us test drive it on the freeway because he hadn't registered it for a long time. And that was kind of a red flag. But we were like, you know what? Like, let's, let's think about it. And so we drove it around just the neighborhood. And long story short, we go to the bank, get the check, get the check, and then we're like, we need to double check on a Subaru Outback. And the Forester's trunk space was tighter than we really wanted it to be for our stroller. And we thought about a cooler, we thought about backpacks, how in the world it was going to happen. We still would have been happy with it, but we are so glad that we went back and tried an Outback because the space in the back was the deal breaker for us like the the, the game changer so that. here we are just got done with the bank we're going to buy <laughs> our brand new car and it's just been wild and so i had to cancel the other cashier's check got this cashier's check for this car and it was like oh man like it, this is our biggest purchase after our house right but we're excited we'll show you a little bit more about that too coming up well we are headed to denver Colorado because we are gonna drop off our new car that we just got. <laughs> I'm sad. But we're excited to get it shipped off and hopefully everything goes smoothly so that we can be done with that and focus on the rest of moving and just getting ready, enjoying the last couple weeks before we head out. Yeah, yep, we're gonna drive to Denver and then we're actually flying into Portland to see his sister and brother and their family. So we're gonna see them and then come back and get more things crossed off our list. We left kind of on a whim, so. That's the current time. We're passing Sinclair <laughs> and we're gonna get to our hotel in Laramie by like three a.m. So fun. So we are at the I-80 turnoff to go to Laramie or to go to Rollins and it is a happening place. It is 12.30 at night and there are probably 200 plus semis that are parked waiting for I-80 East to open up and we're joining them, apparently. This is not fun, not at all. We thought we were gonna 
get to her place in two and a half hours when we were passing through Sinclair, but it turns out that we can't. We can't get on the road that would be an extra bypass. There's not like a connection road to it, so Tanner's inside the store, which is kind of coincidentally called Stinker. And, um, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna try and find out some information. So, state trooper came through a couple hours ago, around 11, and said that it's scheduled to be opened 9 to 11 hours from now, so they're saying around between 8 and 10.30, 10.30 at the latest. Oh my gosh. Which, we possibly could call the shipping center and have them be okay with us dropping it off just because of the road, but we're going to have to call the shipping center first thing in the morning, so basically... Regardless of what happens, we'll probably be here sometime around 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning to hopefully get through because as soon as the roads open, we want to get going. And with all of these semis and the trucks, I have a feeling it's going to take a long, long time. The guys in there said definitely don't think about going because the trooper is watching the freeway like a hawk, making sure no one goes on there. So unless you want to get a $750 fine plus up to 30 days in prison <laughs> probably shouldn't we don't want that so we're gonna head back to Rollins we're gonna find a place to crash and be here first thing in the morning are you so happy? yay thanks for being so happy so I'm eating a breakfast bowl from Walmart this morning because <laughs> the breakfast they gave us this morning was like fruit juice and a mini bagel yeah. <laughs> I needed a little more protein than that. We are in Rollins, Wyoming, and last night we got here about 1 o'clock. Checked into a hotel because I-80 was That's still closed. <laughs> Avocado is being opened. And this Someone's morning thinking. we checked the website again and the road, it's 8 o'clock right now, the road is still not expected to open for another 8 hours. So, we're missing our flight. We might be spending the weekend in Denver and then dropping the car off on Monday, but as of right now, yeah, things are looking pretty... Gloomy. Pretty gloomy. So, it's really windy out here. We've got like 40 mile an hour wind gusts, and the traffic cams that I was checking earlier today didn't look pretty promising. So, I'm hoping that it'll open up soon, but then there also are the hundreds of semis that we saw last night and other vehicles that are trying to get through as well, so I'd be surprised if it didn't take us six hours just to get to Denver um, based on how slow the traffic will be going once it opens up. So. When it should be like four hours at this point, right? Yeah. We canceled our flight. We're trying to figure out which flight to go home at. Luckily, we can reschedule our car um, appointment. They're pretty flexible. They could get us in Monday, um, Tuesday if we need it, so we can try and get that done, but it's just... Yeah, it's just hard to know when we should book our flight home. Well, am I looking tired? Because I am extremely tired. We, as you can see, finally are in a hotel. So we ended up making our way up to Casper, Wyoming. That's where we got the Mexican food. And then we made our way down south um, to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Fort Collins and now we're in Denver so we're gonna be here for three nights it's Friday night we're gonna be leaving Monday um, we're gonna try and get Willa down to bed and make the most of our time here in Denver so here's for a good night's sleep we hope and pray and for fun memories in Denver say good night
Um, actually, we're not even going to be spending it in Denver, so we're going to be going up to Rocky Mountain National Park. Hold on the Friday, Finally, and Finally. the car dropped ah! off. This little one is ready for a nap, aren't you? But we are well on our way now. Luckily, everything went well. Just hope that now the flight doesn't get delayed or whatever, so that we yeah. can make our way home. It's been quite the journey, but yes, luckily the car's in, we're headed home. Um, we were able to see some fun things, like Denver is definitely a place that we would come back to, um, probably more in the summertime. Just and when COVID's over, because a lot of things were closed that we could have done. So yep. it was a fun time. We made the best out of it as much as we could. Stay tuned okay. for the next videos. We're gonna um, be showing you more of our journey to get things sent off to Germany.